I don't really know what to expect. But this Paso de la Chis is like 38 kilometers away from here. If we made to there, we are the hardest part of the whole trip, I think, is gone. So basically what we did, we took the Passo de la Cisa. It's a famous uh, path that crosses the Apenninos here from Emilia Romana to Liguria. So, when you arrive in a place called uh, Piantonia, uh, uh, actually La Salita. We arrived at La Salita, which literally means the uphill. It's, uh, it's not really a good name right now, so which means that now we start going up towards our destination, which is Pentremoli. It's when basically the mountain is the top of the mountain. There is no more uphills, and now now is the toughest bit. So let's see how it gets on with La Salita. It's true. You see the La Salita, and you just want to kill yourself. Yes, because you like... see, like you're the bottle of the mountain. You got this massive hill, and that's the name, right? As you just saw it on the video. That's why they've got the name La Salita. And then when you arrive, then well, you start going up, but it's not that bad. But when you arrive in Piantonia, we're about to leave Piantonia, which is a. We knew would be uh, the, one of the biggest points. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Still uh, 26 kilometers to Bercetto, and then I think after Bercetto, up another 26 kilometers to to Pontremoli. But let's see. Mamma mia. No, in Piantonia, yeah, it, it it gets really tough. But that's the thing, like it's like that for hours and hours and kilometers it's just endless and you go up the hill and it's like you don't you don't see an end yeah so and that then was really hard and what i found out is that like i'm i am my biggest enemy so if i'm cycling and just look into the road like that i'll be fine i can just try to concentrate on what i'm doing i put some music as well and i can carry on but then as soon as i look at the road and I see that it, there's still like a big part to go and that it's still like up the hill, I just give up. Yeah, your leg straight stops, right? It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's all here. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, but then what happens today is that I made a, I went a bit further ahead, then I stopped for a break and then Fernanda passed me and I said, Fed, do you want to make a break with me? And she's like, no, 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 I'm, I, I'm going, I'm going, like, you know, like when you're just feeling like going. And then she went and then, but as soon as I start going again, my pedal was loose and I couldn't pedal and you know it actually fell down and, and then it was probably for us it was probably for us <laughs> by the way we are company in the middle of nowhere so then my pedal fell down and I couldn't cycle so then I started pushing the bike and I pushed the bike for about yeah. two three hours you know so I basically did most of the Paso de la Chisa by walking, no, because that was cycling. like a small part, but uh, yeah. because that's what she said, like when he saw me and said, do you want to make a break? I was really feeling like going, very motivated, so I didn't want to stop. And I felt like that for the rest of the, the thing. And then at some point I decided to stop to eat something and to wait for Tiago because I haven't seen him for a while. And then, poor thing, when I saw How long him, did you wait for me? 40 minutes, I would say. 40? 40? Yeah. We are halfway through the Paso de la Chisa. I stopped here by the road to wait for Tiago because I haven't seen him for a while. At some point down there, I passed through him and he was just taking a break. But because I was like really motivated, I decided to carry on. But now it's been, I think, almost an hour that I saw him. I don't know where he's him. Um, I hope he's fine. No, I know he's fine. The pedal on my right, my bike broke. Fernanda has the tools. Well, let's wait for him now. I really hope Fernanda appears soon. We are still like, um, we need to go uphill another 400 meters, which means 
we climbed already 600 meters and uh, it was very challenging it was quite hard actually but um but it's doable so slowly slowly like i stopped i take the bike for a while with my hands and uh, i push the, the bike then i go on the bike again then i stop for a while then i go on the bike again but it's fine i put some music for me and uh i've been it helps me to carry on let's see did you not freak out? <laughs> That's how much I'm worth. That's how much I am worth. I thought you were fine. It's usually you like I am for the 20 one that minutes and I'm <laughs> All the way through. And the worst part is it's about to rain. I don't know. If it's not rainy. I might as well set up the tent and hopefully to meet Fender tomorrow. <laughs> I just felt like you're you're late. Mm. You're slow. I'm glad I wait for Tiago because I was saying that I was waiting for you and I hope everything was fine, but I knew everything was fine. But everything is not fine. He finally came. Jeez, come. Come, I'm pissed. <laughs> what happened? So, go. As I said in the other video, my pedal broke. And Fernando's all here eating. Oh, <laughs> it's for Thiago. Life is beautiful. And I'm pushing the f***ing bike. Seriously, for three hours. I don't know for how long. <laughs> yeah. I'm really pissed, know. hungry, and I'm eating now. Anyways, <laughs> we fixed the pedal. And then you carried on, and then it was like endless, endless uphills yeah. until you arrive at Passo della Cisa. Passo della Cisa is the highest point of the, 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 the highway, which is like a bridge and it's like a thousand forty-one meters if I'm not wrong. And it's just on top of everything. It's high. Yeah, and then and then from then on it's just go down the hill. So it was incredible to arrive it there. Was and nice. to know the, that yeah, the just only problem is like um, it was cold when we started to go down. It was just, uh, my fingers were frozen. Yeah, the hands were so cold. So we couldn't enjoy that much as well, and that's when we decided to just camp and yeah. then enjoy tomorrow. Because like, the goal today is, was Pentremoli. So we are, we are like five kilometers away from Pentremoli, which is good. We made it, you know, we just stopped in this spot because we were going down like, okay, as soon as you find somewhere nice, yeah. we stop. And then we found this place which seemed quite all right, you know, like a bit hidden. So uh, we stopped here because of that, but uh, it was good. We made it. We arrived here. It was about nine, nine thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah, eight thirty. Yeah, yeah so we longer. did alright. Yeah, days are longer as well. Thank so God, days good. are longer. Yeah. Before, like the last trip uh, at six, six thirty, we already we already had to stop. Yeah, in Slovenia, you see the cards over here. <laughs> So in East Slovenia, uh, when it was about 5.30, you're like, okay, you need to find a place to stop, you know, you need to find a place to come because it gets dark. So here, like, you go on until 9 o'clock, so it's great. Yeah, and I'm excited to yeah. wake up tomorrow and see Pentremoli, which is this cute city. Yeah. And then to go to Lerici, which is known as the sixth Six. uh, Cinque Terre. Sixth six Terre. Six Terre. Uh, yes. So, uh, basically, tomorrow we go to Lerici, and then we go to Luca. And then you go to Firenze. But now you'll see our uh, itinerary going up now. And you know, and um, and then you can follow with us. Yeah. Yes. First day. First day, we done, did. accomplished. <laughs> All right, so. Excited. See you guys in Larich, the sixth terre, which is apparently amazing. Bye. Woo.